So good afternoon, a blessed afternoon to all our valued clients, guests, good afternoon. marketing partners, brokers, and agents. My name is Miss Emmy Pulido Talawe, a licensed real estate broker, and I'm the president and CEO of Praise Realty Marketing Corporation. With me to co-host this event is my daughter, broker, also. Chris? Hi, good afternoon everyone. I am Trisha Talawes Urbano, a licensed real estate broker and a managing director of Praise Realty. I handle the company's trainings and seminars. Okay, so welcome to Praise Realty Talk, a webinar series. For the interest of our new viewers, Praise Realty is a real estate broker company. And for 30 years now, we have been serving the global Filipinos with quality real estate inventories. Of course, in partnership with various property developers. And of course, Majorly is a durable group of companies who are our guests this afternoon. Uh, we have all been hearing and reading about a lot of the new normal. This is a term that is now used to describe the significant changes in the way of life for everyone in the aftermath of this unexpected global pandemic. As real estate brokers, together with our team at Praise Realty, it is our desire that we keep our marketing partners, agents, and our existing and future clients to be guided or somewhat have a chance to know how would it be for them with regard to real estate investment these days. These are those who still want to buy properties, maybe even more so now. As many of our Filipino kababayans are more seriously looking for, you know, to secure a great place for their families. Probably because of everybody's prolonged stay in the households, a need for an upgrade or improved improvement arose for some. Or to others, there is an awakening caused by the current events that they simply want to be better prepared for the future. And for real estate practitioners like us, most are probably wondering, what are the adjustments that they should do in the practice of their profession in this new normal? These things and more are what we will talk about in our webinar series. Yes, Ms. Emmy, and we're here to find out what our guest speakers have to say regarding these matters. This afternoon, we are privileged to have as our guests the owners and officers of the Duraville Group of Companies who have been serving the global Filipinos for more than three decades. Actually, these young but vibrant, dynamic, and well-respected gentlemen belong to the second generation already. So let's introduce them now and hear from them how their group of companies readied themselves to serve the global Filipinos in this new normal. So let me do the honor of introducing our first two guests. First, he is a licensed civil engineer, an environmental planner, a real estate broker, and is the president of the Duraville Group of Companies and the president of the Organization of the Socialized and Economic Housing Developers of the Philippines, Engineer Jefferson S. Bongat. Sir Jeff? Um, Emmy. Good I'm Amy. Hi, Trisha. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Sir Jeff. Hmm. Next is the Chief Operations Officer of the Landcris Somerset Development Corp., a member of the Durable Group of Companies, Mr. Dennis Lim. Good afternoon, Sir Dennis. Good afternoon, Good Sir afternoon, Dennis. Good afternoon, Mami. Good afternoon, Trisha. Thanks for having us here. Yes, thank you, sir. Also joining us today is the Chief Finance Officer of Hamilton Financing, a member of Duraville Group of Companies and a member of the Board of Directors of the National Real Estate Association, Inc., Engineer Jeffrey S. Bongat. Good afternoon, Sir Jeffrey. Good afternoon, Sir uh, Jeffrey. Good afternoon, Hi, Trisha. Thank you. Last but certainly not the least is a licensed real estate broker too and is the Vice President for Business Development of the Duraville Group of Companies, Sir Jigger Bonanan. Good afternoon, Sir Jigger. Good afternoon. Hi, Ma'am Emmy. Hi, Trisha. We're Good afternoon, Sir Jigger. So welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for joining us today. Okay, let's, let's start with our questions. Our first question is for the President of the DGC, Sir Jeff Bongat. Sir Jeff, being the president of the Duraville Group of Companies, you are very much instrumental to the success of your business ventures. The original Durable Construction and Lumber Supply and the Duraville Realty and Development Corporation, which are your beloved dad, our dad, my dad, <laughs> our chairman, 
Oli Bong got started in late 1980s had expanded exponentially. Can you share with us, uh, President Jeff, the vision of your group of companies and maybe some of the best practices that you believe made your institutions to be composed of eight strong companies right now? Sir Jeff? Thank you, Mom Ems. Uh, I think uh, the uh, most important uh, aspect that was parted to us by our chairman and uh, the previous uh, directors of uh, Duraveil is that uh, we have to uh, maintain the quality of the product that we are selling because that's the mm -hmm. most important thing that, that mm -hmm. our buyers is able to purchase uh, the most uh, value for money uh, mm -hmm. housing unit that they can buy on the market uh, because uh, we all know that uh, our beloved buyers uh, the money that they pay for our housing units are very hard earned money no? yes uh, so we always have to remember that is what is always being uh, reminded of us by our chairman. That don't forget our product. Diba? Our product is our name. So yes. uh, one of the missions of the company is we want uh, using the, that value that is being imparted to us. The mission that the company aims for is to be the trust in the real estate industry. So we always... Uh, uh, trust means that whenever they buy, whenever they release or they let go of their money, our homeowners, our buyers, would have a peace of mind that their money is well spent and it's in good hands. Right. And that they can build their family uh, for the next 20, 30 years under the roof that Duraville has, has built for them. Right. I agree with you on that, um, Sir Jeff, because you know I share broker since 1993 and uh, I also bought houses from you and which we use as our offices, you know. They really are so strong and in fact, that's the reason why a lot of buyers are really so happy because it's really quality for value for money. Quality houses, value for money, hassle-free way of selling for us as brokers like Unlike other companies, diba, after they bought, we have a lot of problems with you. It's just a really uh, sweet journey for us as brokers. Thank you, Sir Jeff. Very well said. Follow-up question also for Sir Jeff Bongat. Since 2009 that you took the leadership as president, as a visionary millennial leader, can you inspire us more about what you can see as your best contribution that made your company, BGC, to be as successful as it is now? Uh, because uh, being born in between the uh, millennials and the uh, okay, ano generation? Gen X. Gen X. <laughs> okay. Gen X, yeah, Tatter. <laughs> millennial so, ka pa. Di millennial ka pa? Uh, no, actually, uh, baby boomer. I'm a... Uh, uh, be being born in, between, uh, the band, in between the transition from Gen uh, X to uh, mm -hmm. Millennial. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I think I I'm still in this uh, current uh, new Millennia 2020 going onward. Uh, going forward. Uh, I think I, I saw the times I grew, I grew up when uh, we were still using manual system now. And now mm -hmm. everything, especially now uh, in, in this COVID pandemic, uh, everything becomes digital. Digital. Uh, meetings, the way we order things, <laughs> no, you don't have to go out of the house. So uh, being born in that time, I think I was able to merge the old and new system. Uh, the old meaning uh, doing things manually, you know, going mm -hmm. out, uh, uh, you're, rely, you're not relying on your cell phone, you, know? uh, you, you read a lot of things, uh, you experiment. So uh, then using, combining with the help of technology, uh, I, was, uh, I was able to uh, transition the company you know, to uh, 
uh, to give better products, to improve our customer service, and uh, to make our, our team stronger by communicating more. And uh, I think technology is a great equalizer and uh, for everybody else. So, but to be, for us to be able to, uh, to uh, be ahead with our competitors, uh, mm -hmm. we, uh, together with uh, my brother, my sister, our family, our team uh, of uh, managers and employees, the, as I mentioned before, our strength is the quality uh, of our product. So using those uh, things uh, and technology, we slowly improving the previous product that we have to, uh, to cater to newer times and newer buyer demographics. Very good. Yes, what, go, what our beloved chairman had started in the early or late 1980s, you, you were really able to develop in it and uh, really make it better because uh, as a young boss, you, you really know what's, what should be the direction of the company, you know, to keep aligned with the social technology and all that. Very well said. Uh, thank you, Sir Jeff. So for our second question, this is for our beloved Sir Dennis. Sir Dennis Lim? Yes, ma'am, Amy. Oh, sir, for the past, I think for the past uh, 35 years, I believe, no, that your DGC has been there, especially the starting with the Durawood construction and lumber supply. As of to date, uh, the Durawood group of companies have delivered more than 25,000 quality built to last houses. And in 2015, another company was born, and it is the Landcris Somerset Development Corporation. So, Sir Dennis, please share with us what was truly unique and beautiful about Landcris Residences. I've been seeing how much personal attention you give to this project, from the construction to the property manage management. And, of course, our viewers would be happy to hear from you. Sir Dennis, share some of the good things we have at Landcris. Yes, Mama Mimi, thank you. Um, actually, um, 30 years now po yung company namin, no? uh, but I joined them around uh, year 2005. No? Mm -hmm. And soon enough, uh, this is actually a business unit established uh, specifically for our vertical real estate development, yung Langcris Somerset Development Corp. And as mentioned earlier, uh, our company has been building homes for Filipino families for the past 30 years. And we take pride with the houses we have turned over to our homeowners. It's actually one of our business strategy na makapag-start kami uh, our own foothold dun sa vertical market right. where, we, we can, we, where we bring the same passion and commit, commitment that we have into this right. inaugural mid-rise condominium project which is the Langcris Residence sa Parañaque City. Uh, right. Alam niyo po, we always have a culture that was uh, taught by our chairman, passed on to us, that in all business venture, we would like to partake. Kailangan hands-on po kami. Yes. So, the project have actually has, have a strong DNA to start with. And that is also why we would like to see a lot. Uh, you would see me a lot sa project site namin. Uh, mm. As much as possible, we monitor everything from the designing phase to the actual construction details and even into the marketing selling of our unit. And mm. lastly, also the upkeep of our project because we believe right. that yung whole experience doesn't stop on making the sales. We need to take right. care of our communities. We need them to feel the worth of every pesos they spend and yung sabi nyo kanina, Ma'am Emmy, the true meaning of value for money. Yes, yes. Anything more? No, that's all. Oh, okay, thank you, Sir Dennis. A follow-up follow question, question also for Sir Dennis. One of the important features of these six-story high condos is their being certified earthquake resistant up to 9.6 intensity. This is a very important feature for our condo buyers. May I please request you to discuss about this feature more, Sir Dennis? Okay, um, I won't go into details because no, it's technical siya, and yes. I'm not a 
qualified person to discuss that. But um, based on the National Building Code, na I specify, I think that's the the design, the requirement design for a building should be able to withstand uh, around 8.4 magnitude of earthquake. Uh, a lot of things have to be considered also during the so design stage, like um, I think the distance of the building to the fault line, uh, how high you want to your building to be, and you know, a quick load. Uh, but let's leave that technical stuff. Um, minor physical damage to a structure after a major earthquake is usually inevitable. No? Nangyari talaga siya. But it should be resistant enough to give people inside enough time para makapag-evacuate. Uh, we always ask our structural engineer for more, more dun sa design. At di kami natatapos sa properly design lang. We make sure mm. that the building is, uh, should be made of good quality materials and good construction method. Or else, mm. sayang eh, no matter how perfect yung design namin, mabaliwala din. Uh, that is why, yun, talagang hands-on po kami. And sometimes, even to the extent na yung structural designer namin, na she's saying na over-design na po kami. Mm-hmm. But alam nyo po, you can always sleep quietly at night knowing that uh, you did more, right? Right, um, right. The bottom line is, uh, no one really knows uh, how an earthquake will move. Eh? Or usually, ang design is based on assumption na rin. Even in the most ideal scenario, no building may ever be 100% safe in the face of uh, the big one, yung sinasabi mm-hmm. nila. Nature has, uh, I'll take the uh, slogan of Sir Jeff kanina, nature has always been a great equalizer din. But we assure our buyer that we're 100% confident uh, with the structure design of our product. And uh, as a proof of that, even our chairman or us always have our own personal unit with some project namin where we can always stay. Right. And I would say, thank you for that, uh, Sir Dennis. And I would say, um, la- when, when we were starting building, you know, yung foundation and all that of our buildings, we brought a lot of engineers there eh, who were, became our clients. And then they said, they've seen a lot of buildings and they were so impressed about our structural foundation. They saw how solid our structure, yung mga, you know, the number of bakal and all that. And sabi nila, this is really something that they have no uh, complaint about. In fact, they were so amazed about our quality. And congratulations for DGC for really, really living up to your commitment. Thank you. We'll get back to you. And then so, my next question is for my uh, favorite. Favorite, kasi he's also into marketing. Yeah. And this is for Sir Jigger Kunanan. Sir Jigger. As Vice President for Business Dev, can you excite us more about the new projects that you are about to launch in Imus, in Tansa, and in Kenta? Uh, you know, our marketing partners are all over and this is the way for us to let them see how you're doing things and what are the new uh, projects that we'll be launching soon. So, can you excite us a bit more? And uh, we'd like to ha- have a fresh grasp about all these things. Thank you, Sir Jiker. Sorry, hindi ko pala na-unmute yung sarili ko. Ang hirap magpa-excite. Ako yung na-excite masyado. Eh. Oh, nice. Marami ka pa naman i-discuss. Oh, okay. We have a lot of uh, projects uh, online. No? Mm. Oh, no, sorry, lined up that we're going to roll out soon. Uh, that's on top of the projects that we have right now. Um, pwede ko po sabihin na without even knowing ito, siguro uh, business sense na lang ng board namin, ng chairman, ng presidente namin, na we have enough uh, land banking and we have the right type of projects right now given the circumstance that we are in. No? So, doon sa IMUS po, yung ating uh, Hamilton Executive Residence test, right. nasimula na ano natin yan. We're already selling that. We have a, we already have the license to sell for that. And, um, Remember, uh, Ma'am Emi, familiar siguro kayo dun sa sulit pag-complete natin, ano? Oh, yeah. Sulit pag-complete. Uh, the real tagline, it's really uh, we went interesting for buyers. We went further. Kung sulit pag-complete yung unit natin, kasi nga, sabi mm. siya, value for money, di ba? Mm. Just that, you know, when somebody buys, hard-earned money nila yan. Ngayon po, yung aming presyo, complete na rin. Kaya yung sulit pag-complete, hindi lamang sa unit, kundi pati yung pricing namin. What do I mean? 
Ibig sabihin po ngayon, pag nag kami, all-in na po yun. So that only, not only applies to Hamilton Executive Residences, but you will see that it also applies to the guys of our projects. The, the, the current projects and the ones that we're going to roll out. Mm. Yung, isa po, yung, sa, yung Hamilton Executive, Executive Residences po, makikita nyo, it's three bedrooms, no? Two toilet and bath. Mm. Actually, sa panahon ngayon, maluwag yung property na yun, townhouse na yun, maluwag. And it's, I'm almost sure it's maybe one of the last, if not the last project of its type or its kind in the area. Yes. Tignan niyo po yan. Ma'am Emi, tama ba? Tama. <laughs> yun, yun na lang. Yun na lang ang project na ganyan. The other developers there are leaning towards vertical development na rin kasi ganun kaganda yung lugar. Okay? Ano yung executive presidencies? Kailangan po ma-excite tayo dyan, mag-unahan tayo kasi 800 units lang yan eh. And katulad din po ng sinabi ni Boss Chef tsaka ni Boss Dennis, the usual ano namin, usual value for money, attention mm-hmm. to details, quality mm-hmm. houses, nandyan po lahat mm-hmm. yan. And we even went a step further pag makikita nyo po yung facilities namin, yung amenities namin. I'm not saying mag-lockdown tayo, no? pero ideal po siya dahil kompleto po, maayos po yung clubhouse natin. Um, sayang, di natin mapakita rito, eh, but I'm sure you will show this to your we will show, We will show that. Actually, Ay, pag nakita nila show, yung basketball court natin doon, di ba? Mm. And you were also asking about uh, kainta, no? Yung right. kainta natin, uh, nandyan, nakaline up na rin po siya. Uh, yun, mas maganda makita din yun kasi iba naman ang theme nung project natin na yun, ano? You know, mm-hmm. what's so good also about our, whether it's horizontal or vertical development, yung area po natin maluwag talaga. I mean, if you're going to compare packages in the market, you'll see that for the money that you're going to invest in our project, you're practically getting more. No? It's, of course, it's easy for people to say, but for us, pag sinabi po namin, it's better for you to check it out yourselves and you'll see that, you know, compared to the others, talagang better yung aming product. Mm-hmm. Kung, kung, kayo po, na, kung kayo po hindi pa na-excite, kami talaga pag napag-uusapan namin, lalo na ngayon, pinag-isipan, how can we ano, make our projects better, even the current ones, talagang mas na-excite kami bilang marketing kasi at least lalabas po kami sa merkado, alam namin na, na meron kaming ino-offer that others cannot and would not. Not just because they cannot, but they'd rather not because gusto nila mas uh, makatipid ng konti. No? Kami po, uh, while we want to do business, we also want to make sure that people will get uh, what is equal to their hard earned to their hard earned money. Right, and you know we're so excited because as brokers, you know uh, we are assured that you have so many inventories in the pipeline. <laughs> Ang kailan nalan talaga for us as brokers and realtors and marketing partners, we just have to focus on this and give more time and. Uh, you know, keep on training people because the inventories, beautiful inventories are just available for us from the DGC. Thank you, Sir Jigger, for that. Um, Trish, you have a follow-up question? Uh, my next question is for Sir Jeffrey Bongab. Sir Jeffrey, most of our clients for our houses, in the range of 2.5 and above, like the Elliston Place in General Trias, Landcrease Residences in Better Living Paranaque, Hamilton Executive Residences in Imus Cavite, and the past finished projects have a build of the bank loan. Can you share with our viewers, po, Sir Jeffrey, why did DGC choose to even have your own financing company, which is the Hamilton Financing? Can you please discuss how it makes it easy for buyers to own a home using this loan facility or even your in-house financing? How soon can they move in after po the loan from your um, Hamilton and the in-house financing scheme? Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, hi, Trisha. Regarding the... Hello? Yes, sir. I can hear you, sir. Hi. So regarding the Hamilton financing, uh, compared to the banks, so we're much uh, lenient in the requirements, the documents, like that. Compared to the banks, they are very strict. Uh, especially current, uh, starting this year, 
all the banks started their strict implementation of the of their requirements and the background checking of the their buyer uh, their customers. So in Hamilton financing, uh, we are not like banks. We don't copy that strict implementation. We're very lenient um, in especially in their documents because some of our buyers have brought have very big problems in their um, documents like OFWs uh, having difficulty in getting their uh, what's called uh, certificate of employment like that from their contracts. So in Hamilton financing, uh, we we don't uh, immediately uh, we call this um, don't actually get get all the documents. We we can process it as of now if they gave it to us and we can uh, approve their loan without some of their documents. Yes. You can approve their loan even without, just as long as some of their, uh, some, like uh, at least basic, for us it's basic the, the, the payments, yeah, uh, their income, basic income. We mm. can approve it. Right. But banks so because, will have to require you all their documents. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. Right, and they're, and they're quite strict, no? So, sabi ko, as I'm telling yes. Keisha, with this new normal and with this economic recession, we're expecting that the underground economy would very well still uh, move, no? And they're still in need of housing. They still have money to invest, though. And, uh, you know, they need a financing institution or a loan facility as your um, in-house financing. And the good thing about it is that recently you had a memo, you reduced the interest rate, huh? Much yes. lower than before, and uh, we're so happy about it. We're trying to match the uh, what the banks are giving right now because mm. some of the banks told me that the higher ups are just are talking about um, in, uh, increasing the the percentage of the loan the, the loan rates, but it's still not yet up, not yet uh, final. So we mm. think they're waiting for this uh, GEQ or ECQ to be lifted. So before mm -hmm. they uh, announce it to the to the to the public, right. So in other words, with a durable group of companies, if the clients are really are interested to own a home with a big space, but affordable price, quality, you know, inventory quality house, if they still could not qualify for bank loan, your in-house financing will be there. Your Hamilton financing yes, will be there. Yeah. As long as they can, they say they can afford to pay. That's very good news, Sir Jeff. Actually, it's uh, at this at this moment, parang perfect siya for those who are yung mga grab riders, lalo mo kasi those they cannot provide like those mga ITR ganyan. Pero uh, very hardworking sila, and I'm sure they can pay naman extra. Mm. Kasi kumikita sila ng extra, so perfect yun dun sa mga housewives na na may mga sideline ganyan. So pwede mm. perfect ang in-house financing in Hamilton financing. Mm. Right, right. Hey, sir, so, the, um, the engineer Jefferson would like to add about the inventory. Yeah, I'd like to, yeah, I'd like yes. to add something on what uh, Jigger and Sir Jeffrey said. So, with regards to so in-house financing, so we already lowered the announcement already, Jeffrey, as the, me uh, the memo states that we already lowered our interest rates for our in-house. Uh, but now we are discussing it, uh, we are on the current discussion, we plan to lower it some more. We're planning to wow. we are planning to adjust some payment terms, uh, especially for uh, those uh, RFO units, uh, so that uh, our buyers can uh, immediately move into their new homes. So it's an ongoing discussion now, mm. uh, uh, so that we can uh, we could make it easier for our. Uh, your clients uh, to avail of uh, uh, to buy a new new house. But with regards to inventory, I uh, just want to say that uh, the thrust of the company now is uh, to complete the entire lineup uh, to give a lot of uh, different portfolios from socialized, economic, uh, medium cost, and open market. So if as you can see with our current inventories, you have all of those so that uh, any buyer you encounter, they can choose from right uh, arrays of our different portfolios. Even for condominiums, we started at medium cost housing. Now we uh, 
ay uh, low cost uh, low low rice low rice condominiums low rice condominiums now kain tayo sa medium rice condominium uh in cert, uh, in uh, parts of Cavite now uh, we're looking at uh the companies discussing now are uh, planning for a uh, socialized condominium uh in medium uh, we already have designing a uh, low rise condominium and a mid rise condominium in Paranaque. So, uh, for high end housing, I think uh, Jigger uh, should add, or Sir Denny should elaborate on the uh, Land Chris Premier project. Right? That's our yes, first yes. Uh, high end uh, project that we're still going to launch, and we already. Uh, adjusted some of the payment terms. I think uh, I'll let them discuss it uh, further. Let's talk about the Land Chris Premier townhomes. That's something that others don't have, I would say. So actually, I, I'll just discuss a little uh, bit sir, about it's, yes. the Land Chris Premier. No? Um, yes. yes, it's, uh, it's a 157-unit um, townhouses, two-story, uh, but it's a, it composed of four rooms and wala na nga doon sa area na yun na may ganyang kalaking lupa pa develop uh, townhouses mm. like uh, this scale. No? Um, usually, mm. uh, what you would uh, find in Paranaque area or or the better living area is only project, uh, mga build and sell, uh, four units, five units without right. any amenities. No? Yes, um, right. Uh, our, our product um, is linked with the mid-rise condo that we have developed earlier so you enjoy all the amenities uh, that the condominium also be having, uh, which compose of uh, gym, basketball court, as you all know, badminton court, swimming pool, and uh, and a lot more. Um, we'll be selling the project um, for a regular unit, uh, not more than around uh, more than six million and up. No, uh, and the quality of this project. Uh, of the unit will be uh, upgraded kesa dun sa mga condo unit natin. We, uh, Sir Dennis, you would yes. love to have an advanced copy of that 3D presentation <laughs> because, you know, for a six or even less than six million, huh? I mean, for a four-bedroom unit, three toilet and bath and with two carports for two only car like six, garage, yes. uh, two car garage two car garage yes two car garage two car garage yeah yeah two car garage right? because it's yeah. it's covered no yes. so it's like uh, it's even less than 5 it's even less than 6 million it's it's a little bit 6m because we included already the eva and all the fees yes. and that you know but yes. really uh, i mean where else can they buy a that huge area like 112 or a little more for only that amount, it's, it's like uh, 50,000 per square meter. And they enjoy a big space. That's what clients are demanding now, bigger space, yet affordable, in a master plan community. And then that's something really that they, they will enjoy at um, our Lankris Townhouse Premier. Yes. Thank you, Sir Dennis, for sharing. And Sir yes. Jeff, I have another question. This is for Sir Jeff Bongat again. Okay, for the past 45 days, we have ex experienced a lot of things. And um, during this ECQ, it allowed us to realize that there are many things that we could do very well in the comfort of our homes. In fact, some other big developers even announced that as early as now, 30 to 40% of their employees' working time shall be from their homes. In order to address the required social distancing in workplaces. So others were saying that... Um, this became a factor uh, to a new behavior in home buyers, preferring bigger home space. And because that could accommodate working space in, because of the work from home. However, bigger space usually equals bigger price tag for other companies. Uh, so for property buyers looking for a big space in a location that is in close proximity to the business districts and has all the conveniences and amenities that would want in a condo living, I would like to hear more really about when, and we, uh, when are we going to really be able to see the rising of the 150 units of townhouses there at the uh, Landcris Premier Townhouse? So, uh, Sir Jeff, can you? Uh, I'd the, like to hear more about the, your yeah, project. For the Premier Landcris Premier, uh, actually, uh, the permitting process is ongoing. Uh, mm -hmm. It just so happened that we are uh, 
yeah, we were uh, uh, under ECQ. Uh, there's actually two steps. So only two steps is left. Eh. We're, uh, we already applied for uh, the building permit under the. Uh, we already have the development permit from the HL uh, from the uh, Disud. Then the next step was to apply for a building permit. Then after you get your building permit, then you can get your license to sell. So we were stuck uh, at the building permit. Our permits already is uh, with the Paranaque uh, uh, building officials office when they declared the ECQ. So I think that's the first thing that we're going to follow up. So hopefully in the next few months, uh, hopefully it won't take two months uh, after they lift the, if uh, I, I'm praying that uh, May 18, so starting May 16, we're under GCQ already, mm -hmm. uh, so that we can continue to uh, follow up and work on our permits. Uh, as you all know, uh, our company, you make before you sell anything, we make sure that all of our permits are complete. Uh, because you don't want you, our brokers, our partners, to worry that uh, in the middle of uh, selling and uh, we might be stopped right. by the government. So, um, hopefully, two months uh, from the day that they uh, uh, they lift the, the ECQ, ECQ, we could ECQ and secure. ECQ. The, the lift the ECQ, uh, we could uh, complete of all the necessary permits so that we can start selling that wow. uh, project. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, when we have finished with the, our renderings of that project, um, we already, before everything this happened, we already provided, uh, that's why it's four bedroom. One bedroom was designed to be an uh, multi-use, uh, multi-purpose uh, room. It can be used in an office space, pantry, or a bedroom. So I think most people now with uh, what happened would convert it, would find that additional room to be uh, very useful. Next question is for Sir Dennis. Sir Dennis, given this business climate under pandemic, how soon um, are we expecting the buyers can that they can move in into their new homes? How soon can they move in? Would unit owners expect a great market value appreciation if they invest here at Landris Townhomes? Hi, Trisha. Oh, well, um, regarding your first question, no, it all depends when will the ECQ be lifted. Uh, yung sa office naman namin, our office uh, our service staff are continuing their work on processing yung mga loans and documents. Even naka, even naka ECQ, some are working through um, work from home arrangement and as soon as the ECQ will be lifted, yung mga project, in, in also in our project area, we can also start yung moving procedure. As you know, our company also extend uh, payment flexibility kasi during the time mm -hmm. to all our buyers by deferring the monthly payment for their unit so we would also be needing them to update their accounts uh, after this in order for us to help them process yung loan nila at mm. my process din uh, consequently yung move in no? as mm. for your uh, second question about yung um, sorry value appreciation value, value appreciation yes for Langtris Town Homes uh, Town Homes yes, okay sir. um do, do I really need to answer that bias? <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that, would, that would excite our buyers because it's really a very good launching price. Eh. Yung price right. natin, so, I mean, once the building, once the property development is finished, for sure, it will command a very good market value appreciation. Well, Any I, I think we'll, we'll start discussing it in a more um, general aspect. Now, uh, as we all know, uh, itong pandemic has brought us into a new normal right now. Mm, uh, mm. Naapektuhan na ang lahat ng industry, <laughs> not just us. No? But I think the real estate is uh, one of the, is in the top three, behind, just behind tourism and yung aviation sa most affected during this uh, pandemic. Uh, the problem is the uncertainty uh, and yung long-term effect sa economy uh, for the post-COVID, uh, hindi natin alam kung yung ano ba yung magiging resumption, ano ba yung magiging recovery. So, 
usually in time of yung ganun crisis, uh, people uh, tend to look for a more concrete form of investment. No? Mm. Uh, and I think real estate in general uh, has stood up pretty well um, and coming uh, uh, coming out during yung mga past crisis. Uh, it mm. is, I think it is considered as another option other than gold where people tend to unload uh, their currency uh, with the uncertainty ng crisis. Uh, the reason for this is because it's, the real estate is real. Medyo dyan siya. May kita mo. It's, uh, mm. it's a tangible asset. Unlike right. yung mga securities or stock market na if uh, the arrow goes where the performance of the company goes, so kung bumaksak siya, baksak yun talaga siya. No? And I, or the most important one is it, it is a shelter which is considered as a basic human needs ng mm. lahat ng tao. So I think houses will be the last thing in their mind to sell during mm. this time. Uh, we, uh, we always say that uh, in every crisis, there lies an opportunity. And yes, I think buyer right now can take advantage of the reduced lending rate from the bank uh, or the special promo developers right and left are offering right now. Uh, beside looking, beside looking forward, nakita ko kasi uh, people will be looking for property that can allow them to do the work from home. And right. sa land residences, we do have free Wi-Fi sa lounge area where it, I think it, uh, it perfectly fit the setting. And not to mention that uh, our project is considered as a very, very low density project. Kaya it's also perfect for implementing more social distancing if needed. Mm. Uh, it's, also not, uh, it's also worth noting that it's important right now for buyer uh, ng mga real estate uh, to invest in an established industry player. Correct, correct. I, and I think our company have always been in that position. Dumaan na po ang mga maraming crisis, the 97 Asian crisis, the 08, the 2008 American bank crisis, and we are still here for our buyers. Right, right. I remember in 1997 when Chairman was still very much in the helm of your business, and um, he was... He was I think you were, you were the only developer who was able to give a very special scheme no? sa mga buyers. No? That's why you have these Merry Christmas Executive Homes. And you know, uh, now people are enjoying, they were able to really get a good uh, piece of land and house and lot. And then uh, it's so solid that it really, it's really a very good hedge against inflation. And most of our buyers really for Duroville is that they're happy with what they have. It's really so... It's, it, the kind of house really is something that they'll be very proud of. It's long-lasting and value is appreciating because when the, when the quality of the house is really great, I mean, it, it dictates a good value, market value appreciation. So, so we just have to bring more clients to, to your projects once this uh, ECQ is lifted up. Mm -hmm. okay. if, I may add, if I may add also mm -hmm. to the feature of Landcrease Townhomes, What's good about Land Chris Town Home, especially for young parents like me, meron akong maliliit na bata, hindi na kasi sila makapasok for we don't know how long, maybe a year. Parang worried yung mga parents na to send their kids to private schools kasi nga because of the social distancing issues. Mm -hmm. But since yung Land Chris is a complete package, meron dun um, indoor basketball court, um, badminton. So basically, they can do anything they want kahit na nandun lang sila sa Land Chris Town. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Swimming pool. So pwedeng may activity hindi yung nandun lang sila sa loob ng mga condo nila. So enjoy na enjoy Correct. pa rin talaga nila. Yes, agree. Masterly ka nga, masterly plan yes. community. We they, um, really think, like, what our chairman is always saying, they always, your company always really care about the best for your, your clients. And that's really the reason why for more than 30 years, uh, it's your company, group of companies really been very much progressing and very successful. Congratulations. So, thank you. Now, thank you, Sir Dennis. Thank and now, for Sir Jigar Kunanan, being the head of the sales and marketing arm of the Durabil group of companies, 
and that's the Durabil Marketing Inc., no, another company. You have recently adopted the online reservation system. Can you tell us more about this, sir, uh, uh, Jigger? Because I would like to believe that you will encourage the whole network to patronize the system as a way to protect the safety of everybody, agents, clients, and everybody involved in this um, sales and marketing. So will, can you tell us more about this, this new norm Course, or the course. online way of doing business with your company now? Yeah, just to give you a brief background, just to contextualize everything. Ako naniniwala ako dun sa kasabihan na uh, necessity is the mother of all inventions. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that were invented in, 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 on earth actually were invented precisely because they were needed and they were a necessity at that time. No? Yung pong online uh, reservation natin, di ba? lahat yan ang mangyayari, just to give you an idea what it's about, di ba? Ngayon, mm -hmm. when you have to reserve, when you're going to uh, reserve a unit, uh, that means submit the document and pay the reservation fee, you don't have to go to our site or you don't have to go to our office. All you have to do is uh, fill up. Now we'll email you the RA, the reservation mm. and the pre-qualification form. You fill it up. You take mm. a picture. You either scan it and you send it back to us. You email also the reservation requirements such as the mm. ID, your ID, the buyer's IDs, and their proof of income. And then deposit the reservation fee on the designated bank account that we have nominated. Now, okay. it's as simple as that. No, um, It's not something that we have a, uh, it's not something that you can choose from. It's not an option. You know, sa, nung nag-meeting kami, we conducted a lot of meetings. Yung iba, uh, during the, the ECQ, na shock eh. Mm -hmm. People didn't know what to do. They were waiting for things to go back to normal. Kami po, as a company, nagsimula kami mag-meeting kagad, planning, trying mm -hmm. to anticipate because there's no precedent for this eh. There's really mm. no template on how we're going to react and how we're going to conduct our business. So, mm. ang haba ng meeting sa amin, brainstorming, trying to think, ano ba magiging sitwasyon, di ba? nag adjust, adjust po yan. And we realized na, sabi nga ng boss, isa lang guiding principle natin dyan. Safety comes first. Safety ng mga tao natin at safety ng mga buyers natin. So, if we have to adjust, if we have to spend for equipment, Diba? For materials, if we have to spend for technology, then we have to do so. That's our priority mm. because in effect, diba, papakita po natin doon na ang priority naman kasi natin talaga safety. So, yung online po talaga, that will be very convenient. Eh. Going back, sabi ko nga, necessity is mother of all inventions. <coughs> Ako, never in my wildest dreams, lalo na mamemi tayo, marketing na old school. Gusto mm. natin lahat face to face. Diba? Yeah. So, nung yes. mag-work from home, akala ko talaga, mahihirapan ako niyan, baka tama rin ako or whatever. Pero I realized, no, after a while, you get the hang of it, you bring back the rhythm, papasok ka talaga eh. Mm. Papasok ka talaga sa opisina mo sa bahay. Diba? Mm. So, mm. Sabi niyo rin kanina, ideal nga yung mga, although hindi, hindi na related, pero I just want to point it out, no? Makikita mo yung mga properties namin ngayon, Landry's Residences, yung Hamilton Executive Residences, Elliston Place, yung uh, Landry's townhomes, even kainta. Lahat yan, ideal yan for work. The though. size, no? The size. Oh. Yeah, the size. The size we, we have perfect perfect cut, you know? Sabi ni it's houses. always a choice between space and money. I don't think so. No? I think, looking at the market, we have merged those two things. Right. Space and space, affordability. Affordability. Oh. Oh, Iba kasi, so. you want space, you spend more. Sa atin, right. makikita nyo po, you compare. It's as simple as that. Of course, I don't want to, you know, to step on other um, other developers. But I'm not, where I'm not, I'm just simply saying, ito po yung reality. Look at the data, not just the packaging, not just the space, even the finishing. No? Okay, so online, online lang pala yung tinanong nyo. I, all I'm saying is, hindi push, it's a necessity now. We have to accept the fact that we have to do everything, if not all, remotely. No? Mm. Yung mga buyers po natin, I've been conducting PKW sa mga brokers natin. Makita mo talaga, they're still expecting that things will normalize. Mm. Okay? Yung, yung akala nila yung new normal, ano lang yan eh, saying lang yan. Mm. Wala na, talagang ito na po. We have to accept the fact that this is it. So mm. we have to start working in this scenario. 
sabi ko, ang example ko lang po dyan, sabi ko nila, bakit ganun? Eh, yung mga buyers natin dito locally, hindi naman po yan mag-reserve online kasi they want to go to the site and look at the unit. Yes, hmm. ah, ganun eh, pakiramdaman. Pero ito ang question ko. Kayo po, ang ito nga, di ba? We have been servicing the global Filipino. We have a lot of global Filipino buyers who don't have relatives here in the Philippines who actually purchase units from us without visiting the project. Right. Bakit po sila bumibili? Kasi yun ang scenario, yun ang sitwasyon nila eh. Mm. Eh ngayon, yeah. yun ang sitwasyon natin. Yung nag apply sa global Filipino ngayon, noon, nag apply na rin sa local Filipino ngayon. We have no choice, no? Kaya po, mm. doon papasok yung role nating yung sinabi ni Sir Dennis kanina, yung established brand tayo eh. Established company tayo, number one. Diba? Number two, and this is something, well, this I've seen naman sa mga partners natin. Kailangan lahat ng partners natin, lahat ng agents natin, trustworthy talaga. Kasi right. hindi ang mga buyers based on the brand, us, and based on the brand of the agent. Of the agents, right. Sakto right. nga yun eh. Praise, DGC. Parehong trusted brand yan. Amen, uh, amen. Magaling na team yan. Tama ba, Manny? <laughs> agree, agree. Hindi, talaga ngayon, uh, it's uh, as for brokers also like us, ako talaga po, um, since 1993, when I discovered about your company and I met, you know, si Sir Benson pa nun and your chairman, our chairman, Sir Bongat. Talagang ika nga, when you open my heart, you will see durable in my heart, my loves. Because, you know, it's a worry free. Eh. Sabi ko, I'm already at my age, no? 60 years old. Ha? Senior na tayo. Na ba, 60 na ako, sir. 60 <laughs> na tayo. And, you know, sabi ko, if I... Edit yun mamaya. Alam mo yun, yung tipong, if you're in the industry and you have a lot of problems with clients, that would really make you so stressed. But my experience, our experience is that yeah. we are not having any stress because you guys are really taking care of everything, no? From the construction, delivery, estate management, commission is on time. What else can you ask for? And then happy clients, that's it. So keep on, diba? So it's really a great partnership. And we're so happy and we're so blessed with that. Yes, so let's move on. Trish, you have a question for uh, this for Sir Dennis. And yes, question again for Sir Dennis. Sir, what are some of the changes in your companies? Uh, in your companies to support the new normal way of business and work environment. Tulad nga po yung nasabi kanina, how would you adapt a social distancing at your back support system at your marketing offices? I learned from other property managers that they will be implementing a policy requiring those who will move in, either a unit owner or a tenant, to be on quarantine first for 14 days. Are you also adapting, adopting this too? What measures will you adopt to ensure that the community at Land Priest Residences remains COVID-free? Nakamute. Nakamute, Sir Dennis. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, hi. Um, as for the um, new normal, how we adapt to it, uh, we have been constantly communicating with all our department naman ever since the uh, starting ECQ noong March. Uh, as a matter of fact, katapos lang po nga namin kaninang early this morning ng COVID mancom namin. We have been busy coming up with uh, protocols and procedures for all our employees and visitors to follow. Uh, this, this includes syempre, social distancing inside the office, uh, we assign some of our staff to different project sites para lang lumuwag yung office na namin no? At, and to lessen the population inside the office. And we also tackle how to dis disinfect yung mga documents na dumadating uh, that we receive and a lot of and a lot more actually. Uh, but all the proce procedure na ginagawa namin uh, should be in accordance with the um, DOLE, the DOH, uh, and the IATF guidelines. This is something new for all of us. Mm. Uh, hindi pa nga, sabi nga ni Jiga, hindi, pa, hindi naman natin naranasan to dati. Uh, this is what they call the new normal. But actually for me, there is nothing normal about it. Ang hirap mag-adjust talaga kasi it is our human nature na mahilig talaga tayong dumabas, attend social gathering, whether mm. it's for family business, birthday, wedding, or pang business. Mm. No? Yeah, there, I think there is still a lot to be done and a lot 
to be improved uh, well in our uh, company no during and a lot to improve during yung actual implementation namin but we were going to be in full compliance with the uh, national or local government procedure mm-hmm. as for Correct. the <coughs> move in policy na nabanggit niyo na may parang 40 days na quarantine na oh, ina- 14 days required. sir actually yung iba yeah. lang naman po yun Will you adopt yes. it? We, we currently have no plan to ask our buyer no, for the 14-day self-quarantine. But uh, that's an idea we can consider in the future if the circumstances will require it. Mm-hmm. As of now, we're sh- shifting to e-communication with all our buyers through email uh, and mobile follow-ups or yung mga requests nila. Doon na namin sinasagot. All thing needed for your move-in procedure, uh, which include your move-in orientation, we will be converting it into a video, yung orientation namin, move-in forms, yung gate passes na kinakailangan nila for delivery ng mga furniture nila for move-in. This will all be sent through uh, email para ma-fill up na muna nila. Then on the act- actual day of move-in, they will just have to sign the original forms and give it to us. Uh, we're also studying right now if uh, we can, uh, in connection of the quarantine, if we can require yung mga new move-in buyers namin or tenant uh, ng isang health clearance as a proof na wala silang symptoms related to COVID. Right. This, is, this will be as part of the prerequisite requirement before yung actual move-in. But mm, okay. We're still studying that. Very good. Sir, how, how about naman sa land, Chris, sir? Yung, how do we make sure na COVID-free po doon? Yung mga existing na pong mga residents po natin doon. How do we protect them of that um, scenario na hindi maging COVID-free po sila doon? Well, actually, sa land, Chris, naman, uh, since the start of uh, March, we have already uh, spent a lot of uh, materials, yung mga sanitation mat, and recently we also purchased yung mga auto automatic na sanitizer um, oh. uh, sa, sa mga buildings namin. Sa, ano, and then, we put up notices, procedures, uh, procedures if uh, may symptoms, ano ang kailangan gawin kagat, they should inform the property management immediately and then yung, yung quarantine nila and then we will, we will assist them or if there is a patient, we will assist them and bring them to the nearest uh, emergency center. No? Um, well, uh, thankfully, hindi pa natin kinakailangan gawin yung mga procedure na yun dahil wala pa namang uh, nag-positive, okay? Uh, but all the procedure and policy is there for them to follow. And every one hour, we sanitize the, the common area ng building, elevators, um, naglagay kami ng plastic sheet para mabilis siya ilinis, um, meron din sila yung mga sanitation mat. And we spray, uh, we spray yung mga disinfectant to the hallway and even to the walls and even their main doors. Now, mm. um, I think uh, hindi siguro perfect kasi this is a, a work in progress as the as the pandemic goes on. But uh, whatever is introduced to us or uh, nire-require ng mga government sa atin, then we, we take the initiative to do it as soon as possible. Oh, that's... That is very Sean, interesting. Think, ano, yes, yes, sir, I think sir, si sir, sir Jeffrey uh, can add on to dun sa clients so for the safety ng mga, especially for the new buyers for the contracts and everything. I think Sir Jeffrey can sir Jeffrey. Uh, elaborate on it on the pickup and delivery services that we're, I, don't know, I think Jeffrey can uh, update on us oh, that's since he's in charge of the documentation for mga loans. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. Sir Jeffrey. Uh, current, uh, if we, uh, this, uh, no, last uh, two weeks ago, we have a meeting regarding the, 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 uh, the documents, how to sanitize them. We already we're gonna implement after the ECQ the pick up and delivery of the documents. So mm-hmm. we will be having a uh, maybe LDC or what company that can we acquire uh, the us to pick up and deliver the documents that the, uh, the buyer need to sign. 
need to read. So there will be a less in contact with the uh, with our buyers. Then for the payments, we already talked to the banks that all payment will be done through bank transfer. So to lessen our the buyers co going in our office to pay cash. So in previous the uh, in the previous so we buyers always want to go to the office. Uh, uh, to get their uh, the OR or the PR, so we're going to send it through email. So that's our the company's plan to lessen the contact with buyers or the, for the social distancing. Wow. So it, it will be safer also uh, for the brokers and salesperson. Mm. They don't really have to accompany the clients anymore to go to our office to sign the contracts. So mm. We are trying to really limit the uh, contact between people to avoid the uh, uh, being infected so that's one of yes. those things that we are trying to uh, going to roll out in the next in the coming weeks wow that is what is good with you guys really being hands-on on your business you know parang others are still thinking about it and you guys are had already put in place uh, nakakamada na ika nga, and uh, that's so nice about it. So, talagang worry-free, no? For all those who would be investing at, uh, you know, with the durable group of companies, eh, talaga namang they know that these owners and developers are in the know of what really should be done uh, in this, in amidst of this crisis and uh, what would happen after this, aftermath of this crisis. Thank you so much. Now, Sir Jeffrey, kanina you mentioned earlier about uh, financing. Gusto kong uh, ilitin mo lang uli, uh, briefly, no? How, how do you see that after this economic recession, are you seeing the uh, that there will be more buyers who will be availing of your Hamilton financing and your in-house financing? Uh, do, you, uh, do you foresee this uh, as a yes, good opportunity because, for everyone? Uh, yes, ma. Because uh, before the man, uh, pandemic happens, my father said nga na, yeah, we have to to innovate usually to think what will the buyer needs. So mm. this, uh, so we always discuss the 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 crisis in the uh, the, the Asian crisis like that. So what did the company mm. do? Did, mm. So uh, always remembering us that to talk to the buyers what they needs what the what 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 what, what can we uh, give them or help them to ease the payment because at that time, you, you said, banks and Pag-ibig do not release uh, loans. So he, uh, my father, uh, the chairman said, are you having a hard time paying for our creditors like that? So the, that's why we had to strengthen the in-house and our, for the buyers to, to have a, an easy way to pay us for their house, for their hard-earned money. So. Mm. When the bank, uh, when I talked to the bank uh, two weeks ago, uh, talking to them, uh, what will happen after this? Then they say that uh, they don't know. They don't know yet because the higher ups are not yet uh, telling them what to do. Uh, they're just waiting. So for us, uh, the in house, we're lessen the. We're planning to lessen it. Uh, we're planning to retain the ten percent for the uh, equity. Or the buyers Oops. can still avail that ten percent mm. because the bank wow. plan to increase it to twenty to twenty five. I think mm. so we plan to capture all the the bank will deny uh, or not accept uh, not will that the buyer the bank will not accept or the e big. So we plan to shift it to our in house financing. Wow, that's very good. I mean that these really are. A very sincere intention of developers like you, you know, because when when the intention really of the developer is really to provide housing to those who are in need, and as long as they can pay, di ba? So, syempre, yes. uh, but you are you are expanding the 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 air the what's this the facility where they can avail if they're not qualified for bank loan. So this really a piece of good news, no? For those who are making good money, may more rental income, nasa networking, marami yan eh. But they don't have COEC or whatever bank loan requirements. So we, will, I, we really would push for that also. I would just yes. like to add, because one of the 
advantages of uh, in-house financing is cash flow uh, because uh, it's uh, any uh, like for even for our company or company uh, even a normal person buying a house cash flow is important right ma'am mm. so yeah, right, the, the advantage of in-house financing is it is adjustable right? we we are we can easily adjust it to the current cash flow of the our homeowners or home buyers so mm -hmm. i think that's one of the big advantages of going into in-house financing uh, but is it on a five, ten, fifteen? Yeah, years? yeah, that's yeah, divides. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, we are more flexible in uh, mm. like, adapting to, to the banks, to so their income, the mm. uh, the income stream. When do they get it? So we could uh, easily adjust it to uh, their situation uh, because Correct. we know that the, the demand for housing is there. But uh, yes. that's the, the the problem now. The concern of most uh, future home buyers is cash flow and income. Correct. If I Correct. buy this house, I'm not sure if I can pay this on a regular basis at this amount. Uh, my my money might be delayed, or I get two months, three months if I get if I don't get paid regularly. So uh, under in-house financing, as pre at what we've done previously, uh, mm. it is more flexible than uh, going to the traditional financing. Uh, institutions like Pag-ibig and uh, Bank. Uh, wow. so. These are really very great news for our marketing partners no? and brokers and agents. Yes. Completo tayo. We have a complete set of menu to offer to our clients. No? Sipag na lang talaga ng mga agents natin ang kailangan dahil sa GGC, kompletong kompleto na tayo. Well, uh, we, really, we really appreciate all these uh, discussions and uh, we believe that after all this, uh, we aired this, no? we aired this presentation, our viewers, um, marketing partners will really appreciate much what the Durable Group companies are doing in preparation for this um, econ economic recession or aftermath after this pandemic and that. And we're so happy to, to, to hear that and uh, be able to share to our buyers and brokers. Now, Sir Jeff. Oh, Trisha, you have a question for Sir Jeff. Sir Jeff, as a president and the past chairman of the OSHDAP, and being the president of BGC as an industry leader, can you give our viewers some words of encouragement on how they can protect themselves as buyers and how can they make sure that they will make the right decision in buying properties when the world is pronounced to be experiencing global recession in the reality of the new normal? Okay, thank you. Uh, for uh, uh, me as the president of the uh, OSHDA, uh, the first thing that we always remind our our members is uh, you have to be financially ready and steady. Right? Mm. Uh, and I mean, you have to be financially stable. That is the most important thing because as mentioned by Sir Dennis, we've gone through several crises already. Right? Mm. Uh, finan being financially stable and wise helps Helped us. Ano Survive. Survive. So, yeah, as president of OSHDAP, yeah, of the, we always remind our members to be financially stable. As mentioned earlier by Dennis and Jeffrey. Uh, we, we have gone through, our company has gone through uh, several crises already since from the 1997 Asian financial crisis, uh, even the uh, 2008 financial crisis, even until now. Um, I'm happy to say that our company is financially stable. Yes, We, we have we enough got... funds to finish our current projects and we have enough funds to start and complete also our uh, upcoming project. That is what I always share uh, to my members in the association. Uh, look at where we are right now, uh, because we don't, we don't really know when will the next crisis will happen. And real estate is a very tough business. You need a lot of capital, uh, a lot of money. And uh, before you see a single peso come in, it might sometimes, it sometimes will take you three years, four years before a single peso comes into your uh, pocket. 
So if you are not financially stable or wise, uh, you will have a big problem. So to the buyers, always look for a company as mentioned nga, by Sir Dennis na, uh, with a track record. Talaga. Track record is the most important thing right now. Uh, for a company, uh, uh, the, what we are doing uh, right now, uh, this, I just want to share lang is that uh, the first priority, of course, is safety. Yeah? We want everybody to be safe, especially our employees, their families, our brokers, our contractors, and our subcontractors. That's why we are really focused on uh, to providing them uh, PPEs and everything. Mm-hmm. Second, uh, uh, important to us is providing them with income. We want all of our uh, employees to have regular income. Uh, as, even though it's mandated by government that 50% shall uh, go to work after the lifting of the ECQ uh, and no work, no pay. But we are able, most uh, actually, I'm happy after our meeting kanina this, this morning, I think almost 98% of our employee will have, we can go back to their regular jobs. We're able to set up satellite offices. Uh, of course, you. In all of those offices, we already provide that necess- we will provide necessary PPEs for them. So those two things are important to us. And the third thing is we will honor all of our co- commitments to our buyers. They don't have to worry. Mm. And of course, ang, the only thing that is uh, hindi lang magawa is the turnover date. I think that turnover date might get delayed uh, mm. because you know the. It's almost yeah. two months, no construction. And Correct. after the lifting of the GCQ, I think there would be some, we, we are expecting to encounter some logistical uh, 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 problems with uh, construction supply. But don't, don't worry, we will make adjustments to our, all, all of your clients who bought the houses. Uh, we, we, we can finish all of them so they don't have to worry about it. Very good. Well, those are really very good um, words of encouragement and assurance no? and uh, really good insights from, from a leader like you. And we must congratulate you, Sir Jeff, because uh, I read in the posting of Sir Jigger in the Facebook that you were one of those who really uh, worked out with uh, kanino ba? That the, you know, the, the task selling force. Yeah, we, and the task force. Yeah, Can you explain we, a little we, more of that? Yeah. So we uh, when they came out with the uh, memo that exclude uh, that they say housing activities can uh, start during the GCQ, but they excluded no buying selling. and selling. No buying yeah, and selling. We, uh, I mean, uh, I think I, I would like to thank the government, nga, diba? especially the task force, for mm. responding uh, positively and uh, quickly. Uh, so yes. we made the presentation with the Department of Human Settlements. Uh, mm. and urban development through Secretary Edgar Rosario. So we mm. talked to him. So he quickly set up a meeting with uh, members of the task force. And we were able to relay to him the, right. uh, the, the, the immediate impact of not allowing us to sell, but allowing us to build. Uh, right. Because when we build something, there should be buyers. And right. if, if, if nobody will build a, a house, if there's nobody going to buy it and the mm. government would collect more taxes if we can buy and sell not but just yeah. thing. Uh, you're helping out the labor industry the construction industry but there are another segment which is not being helped out currently uh, it is not being captured by the current stimulus program by the court which is our salesperson and brokers they are not for peace they, they are not un, not they're not unemployed but they don't have regular income. Correct. Especially for the, mm. the segment that I represent from the on socialized and economic housing, the most of our members are one project at a time. They do one project at a time. So they need also the cash flow. So we were really happy that when we met Tuesday, uh, immediately, uh, well, uh, only, uh, well, uh, it did not took them uh, one week. They already issued an amend, uh, amended guidelines mm. to allow buying and selling. That's why uh, we are really thankful for the cabinet secretaries and the task force for 
uh, the immediate action on that mm. on the said issue of buying and selling. Well, and we must pray. We're just, we just pray na GCQ, uh, ECQ will be lifted on the 15th, uh, on the 16th. So we can, we as brokers can really move, although with certain we, precautions, no? Yes, we have to be careful. At least we can start uh, going back to normal and earning a living, which is what is most important to us right now. Mm. Right, right. And thank you for fighting for our rights, Sir Jeff. Yeah, because we as uh, brokers always, and yeah. agents, we need to make money also. <laughs> we need to work. Our agents need to work. You know, they really wanted to work. Thanks for that. And thank you to the government offices for really approving it fast. Now, for our last round, I would love we'd love to hear from you. Um as your parting words for this session. Uh, is there something else that we did not touch that you believe is so important for our viewers to appreciate right now? Because as you know, this will be shown to our clients, existing, old, new agents, partners. So uh, give us uh, you know, your final words, uh, all of you, please. So let me start with Sir Jigger. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, just a short uh, message maybe. Um, our company has been in the business for the past 30 years and hopefully we will still be in this business for the next century, I suppose. Um, and kung ano po yung values ni chairman na naabutan ko dyan, yan pa din po yung isinasabuhay na, at pinagpapahalagahan ng uh, kanyang mga anak, mga boss ko at mga colleagues ko at mga kaibigan ko na rin. Kaya po, Kaya ganyan din ang pinagpapahalagahan ng mga partner namin na tulad ni Praise Realty. So, asahan nyo po na hindi, sinabi naman ni Sir eh, hindi naman po business lang ito. O, nandito kami kung ano yung vision na ginusto natin which is to become the standard of trust in the real estate industry. Hindi po ito salita lamang. Pero paniligdigan po namin ito lalo na sa panahon ngayon na kung saan napakahalaga ng tiwala. So kung bibigyan niyo po kami ng pagkakataon uh, para sa ibang nagbigay na sa amin ng pagkakataon patuloy niyo pong ipatuloy niyo pong patuloy po na bigyan niyo kaming pagkakataon na patuloy namin ipakita na we are in fact the standard of trust in the real estate industry. Salamat po. I love that the standard of trust in the real estate industry. Very good. Thank you Sir Jigger and Sir Dennis. Well, um Siguro, I'll just make a summary of the three main things that our companies are focusing right now. Um, the first will be, siyempre, taking care of our employee and mga business partner, katulad nyo po, which we always considered as part of our family. No? Um, that's what Sir Jeff is saying earlier and Sir Jigger, na life is more important than in earning money right now. Um, second, I think would be the uh, would be us fast tracking the transition of our company into the digital age uh, by adapting mga program na nakatailor talaga sa real estate uh, industry, which is what we have been doing already before yung pandemic pa. Uh, medyo na delay lang because of this. No? Uh, the difference is magiging mas priority lang sa budget namin, budget allocation namin right now, yung, yung mga technology na, no? uh, mm -hmm. to purchase yung mga computers and to come up with programs, for, uh, not just for marketing, but also uh, for yung mga ibang department din namin. No? Um, third would be our way of giving back to the community uh, through yung mga donation ng relief goods. Uh, we always believe that it is our responsibility na in our small step that we could uh, help out to my Filipino people to rise from rise up from this pandemic, uh, I still believe na makabalik po tayo sa dati after this. And actually, this, this interview for me is supposed to be other way around. It. Kasi, Ma'am Emmy, you guys sure. are always our mentor and our guiding light dito sa industry na to. Oh, thank uh, you. Mas matagal thank pa nga kayo kaysa sa akin eh, dito sa industry. Second, generation, this, second generation second generation ng yes, ako kayo mga boss I've been ko eh. Exposed, exposed to this industry for 15 years pero kayo, nandoon na kayo, isa kayo sa pillar namin eh. No? Mm, so, thank you. Sabi thank ko you nga, bakit kami ang ini-interview 
interview na napatyata kayo ang interview na no people people should know who are my partner developers i mean like i won't grow old in this industry this this long if i chose to be in partnership with a developer who is not trustworthy who's not dependable who's not doing his commitment to the you know to the clients and brokers so that's those are very important to me and i really thank that i'm blessed my company and the rest of your brokers are really blessed no to have such a partnership as yours and we are too we are blessed too oh thank you so much uh sir jeffrey and then last would be sir De- sir jeff so sir jeffrey uh siguro ma'am uh for me is yun din sinabi ni sir jika and sir dennis na we always treat our partners as our family so we value your we value our partners um uh the comments and suggestion to us and we try to adapt it adapt to it to our business so we can ad- uh, we can change to the time flow and time so we will not be left behind mm. so so many fa- so many families are are dependent on us not only our employee but their employees too and we we affect many people so we try to to do our best every time mm. to to be the uh, let's call this uh, to be the role model or something like that of other developers that still um, still um, starting so we will be here for more than for the next generation to come generations and generations to come right <laughs> yes yes ma'am so that's it right but uh, you know any a company that has good values in doing business and you know doing it really right and it's really pleasing to god for sure the um, it would be a long life for everybody long long business life and uh, that's it that's your company and that, that's us and lastly sir mr president uh your parting word uh, to conclude this session sir jeff bongat nakamute si sir jeff Mute. Actually, ma'am, uh, this year was supposed to be a banner year for us. Eh. Banner we're year? To, yeah, we're supposed to launch several uh, new projects at the same time. That includes also uh, building of, uh, actually, we plan to expand to certain areas of business. Actually, we were supposed to travel to certain a certain province in the Philippines to look for land. No? Mm-hmm. We plan to go out of uh, and Luzon, actually, somewhere south. Uh, uh, but I have to cancel that plan because of the uh, COVID. And including in that plan also was the, ren- uh, the re- renovation of our office. Actually, uh, you know, we're launching our, our new high-end project. So, uh, so this is supposed to be a different year, but it's still different. No? It's a memorable year. Uh, challenging year. Challenging it's a challenging year. on what happened to us. But... Uh, Going forward, I uh, can share some of what we are doing. Uh, we really want to be a com- to be a complete company uh, uh, to to give a better service. We have to end to end solution to our clients, our home buyers. So, what are those from purchasing our own land, doing our own construction, land development, um, selling, even up? We have our uh, own financing company, marketing company, uh, a construction supply company. Uh, we are now reg- uh, preparing to uh, register for some utility company and the project management, uh, property management company. So we are preparing for that. So that uh, the entire process from buying and selling it uh, shall be handled by only uh, the same core company or same core group which is the durable group of companies mm. so really want to give the entire experience complete experience to our homeowners so hopefully uh, I'm still optimistic that we can still still do some of it this year wow uh, so very good uh, exciting to, exciting year uh, huh? to your partners to other um, uh, future buyers our prospective clients uh my message is uh, 
go with the praise realty yeah, they they've been our, our partner uh since i was a kid diba? kid 11 uh, years so old i think more baka, baka less than pa, uh, they have been our trusted partner uh and they uh, have a good name in the industry uh, so oh. they have Amam Ems is a well-respected uh, uh, profession, real estate professional. So Thank I'm you. happy that uh, you gave us, our company, a chance to showcase what we are doing, uh, to showcase our uh, future plans and uh, what is really the value of uh, our company. Uh, that's why we are still here. Uh, supposed to be this I thought uh, supposed to be this year is our 30th year. We would be celebrating a, a big celebration for our 30th anniversary. So wow. we have to set aside the celebration and mm. uh, use those funds to help our employees, help others na lang, our oh, partners, right. and help others. Uh, so uh, we really are blessed for having you as a partner uh, and seeing uh, Trisha, a uh, second generation working together. Yes, second generation. Uh, let's just pray that uh, this pandemic will not, not last very long and we can go back to our normal, the real normal lives. The real normal have. lives. But, uh, yeah, because uh, as Dennis said, yeah, we are social human beings. Yeah? We have to interact with people. Yeah? We have to interact with our neighbors, our friends. So this is not really normal communicating uh, via uh, via this Zoom, Zoom uh, right. online. We're getting mm. used to it, but I don't want it to be the normal. I still want to see people. I still yes. want to meet you face to face to have right. dinner, uh, right. to have lunch, right? So uh, let's pray that uh, this will not last long. And let's mm -hmm. also pray for the safety of everyone, our salesperson, uh, our, uh, our brokers, our family. And that's it. Yeah. And thank you for the kind words, uh, Sir Jeff. And I would say that, you know, I also thank you so much because, you know, you've been pampering us, your broker, and even your other, you know, other lead brokers and travel. You know, mga tipong travels abroad. Oh, well, we don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to... <laughs> Oh don't my. travel, lah. Yeah, we, yeah, I think that's what we got. I'm gonna miss most our oh travels my. abroad. Uh, every last. year, kasi every year, yeah, they said basta, they have to wait until 2022. No, it's wow. just two years from now. Nibale so so gawin na lang muna namin ngayon as your marketing broker partners. No, focus lang muna. We just have to focus on what we could do best during this crisis, during this pandemic, because we believe that. Today would be, uh, you know, just a temporary recession, temporary slowdown. But, you know, as long as we are doing our best together, we just are developer and we are sure broker. Um, and then we just be, sabi mo nga, eh, standard of trust in this industry and doing the best that a developer should give to each client, thinking about safety and value for money and uh, all these important things that the client would buy would would desire from a developer and a broker then we'll be in good hands in good direction and Trisha do you have something to say hello to, to impart to our uh, guests before we sign off Trish yes um let me just um uh share kung ano yung kasi my, my mom has always been telling me na anak mahalin mo ang Duraville kasi sila yung magiging partner partner natin sila ever since and talagang yung puso nila nandun sa projects nila and i right. can i can truly say na talagang with this this um conversation that we had talagang mararamdaman niyo kung ano yung yung sincerity from your company na talagang nire-reassure niyo yung buyers and the sellers na you will always be there na hindi niyo sila ihahang so maraming maraming salamat po mga boss ayun thank you so much anak thank you for for hitting my heart, you know, and uh, for really understanding what my, um, the desire of my heart, you know, and thank you for really uh, helping me out because, alam mo naman, there's always competition, you know. <laughs> when, you're, when you're dealing with a big developer, we really need to produce a lot of, you know, sales kasi ang daming inventory. And so happy that my children are also backing me up, my, my sisters, 
my siblings, mga pamangking ko, and all my old-time managers and partners with Brace Realty and some other brokers. But then. So I, I, this would be a very informative session and we, we would be very happy to share this to our viewers. And I'm sure that this would really create uh, an avenue for people to learn more about you. And this is so good. This is a really very good venue. So with that, we thank you so much, Sir Jeb, Sir thank Dennis. You, thank you. Sir Jeb, and Sir Jigurd. Thank you, Mom. Thank, thank you all to the Durabil yeah. group of companies. And may God bless you. God bless us. And God bless all of us. See you soon, Paul. See you soon. See you soon, See you soon. See you soon in person, Paul. God bless. Okay, thank, you. Bye. Bye. thank you. Bye. Thank you, Paul. God bless. Thanks so much. Bye.